Now this is for your benefit to go to YouTube and find out anything that you forgot. So therefore I don't have to repeat myself because I can't stand to repeat myself. All right. Okay, this is not an 8 o'clock class, so y'all need to learn how to speak, okay? I don't like this quiet class crap. I don't mind it as long as you're not looking at something crazy while I'm teaching, okay? One of the three people that I had to throw out of class out of 20 years was playing on Facebook, and I called her out on it. The only females I've ever thrown out of class, out of three, love two females, 20 years. I threw her out because she was playing on Facebook and Instagram, and I called her out on it. And she said, yeah, well, you don't have to be a jerk about it. And I called security and had her leave, had her escorted out. So she, she, had, she had issues. She had main, main, major issues. She had, what do you call the authoritative issues? She didn't have to be told. She didn't have to be told what she was doing. I guess she just didn't like the face up the things. Okay, let's try it again. Why is it my damn Russians? That's what it is. Let's try it again. Come on, you can do it. Okay, it wasn't doing this during the first class. What's the problem? Right. Huh? Hold on. Let me just go to. Well, I try. I uploaded my last video. But when I go on Facebook, it won't come up. So. I'm just gonna get out of this and go to Google. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I thought I had everything pulled up. Let's go to Google. I did have everything pulled up. And it was working before class started. There we go. And one, one, one. Okay, there it is. I sent it out on Wednesday. So if you added after Wednesday of last week, you don't have this email. So I'll send out another one probably this Wednesday, and then I'll send out another one Sunday. That was the last day to add classes and drop classes is, when, is, is Friday. So therefore, if you add Friday, 24 hours will be Saturday. Wednesday, everybody's in their classes, and I won't miss anybody. So Sunday, I'm sorry. Sunday, I'll send out the third. Send out one Wednesday, and I'll send out another one on Sunday to make sure I got everybody covered. All right? So let's pull up the syllabus first. The syllabus is really not that big of a deal. Um, there's only one page of the syllabus that I really care about, and that's the last page. So for those of you that have the syllabus, get it out. And the last page is called the outline. There it is. So make sure you write that down. If not, if you don't if, if you don't have it, then write down the last page of the syllabus because that's the most important. You need to take this page and put it on the front of your notebook in the plastic covering on the front of your notebook. Why? Because it has it's, it's the it's the table of contents on what we're going to be doing during the semester. If you have to go on a trip or you're going to be out of town and the last thing we cover is 8.3, then you know if you miss Thursday, which is the next time we show up, 
then I'm going to cover 8.4. When you come back on Tuesday, chances are we'll be in 8.5. So you have to use this kind of like a table of contents and a schedule so in case you have any questions. If you come up to me now that I've said that and you ask me what are we going to be covering next week, I'll look at you with a look like I have no idea and I will not tell you. Why? Because I've already told you. You look at that page. All right? I'm very fair. I'm very open, but I cannot stand to repeat myself. All right? I think it's ridiculous and I don't have, shouldn't have to do it in a college course, especially college trip, because y'all are fixing to take college calculus next semester. And that is like, that's the course of all colleges is college calculus. All right. So that means that pretty much you're a sophomore or a junior or a freshman, whatever, a sophomore is a second, yeah, second, second. That means that you're not a teenager anymore. So I shouldn't have to tell you if I cover 8.3 today, I shouldn't have to tell you that I'm going to cover 8.4 tomorrow, which is Thursday. Okay. In, in academia, there's buzzwords. And 10 years ago, the buzzword was right to fail. Okay. Students have the right to fail, meaning that I get up here and teach and I don't really care anything about y'all. And if you flunk, you flunk. If you pass, you pass. Kind of a survival of the fittest. All right. Then we go from one extreme to what we have now. What we have now is I go to the bathroom with y'all and hold your hand. I wait outside and then I get your hand and I bring you back to class. If you're absent, I have to write you an email and say, you've been absent. You don't need to miss class. You need to come to class. I'm supposed to tell you how to put a schedule of dates outside this outline. I'm not going to do that because that is extreme on the other side. I'm in the middle. Most of the time I'm on the middle pretty much on everything. All right, because the extremes, they mess you up. And that's not true just in this class, it's true in life. You hang out with the extreme people, you're gonna get yourself in trouble or robbed or beat up or one of the three, okay? They're not good, extremes are not good. Look at the, look at the first unit, there's four units. How many weeks do we come to class? 14 weeks, you take 14, you divide it by four, you get three and a half. So every three and a half weeks, we should be covering this section. So that means you look in your calendar and you write down three and a half weeks from today. That's when we're going to probably have the unit one test. Three, point, three weeks from then, the unit two test. And you're supposed to fill in little dates right here. Okay? I'm not going to do that. Why? Because I cover the material and I make sure the students know the material. I don't cover the syllabus and then in math 140 next semester I teach a bunch of regurgitated students okay that if I ask what is the sign y'all go uh, I don't know I can't remember I don't want regurgitation I want you to learn it because if you don't know your trig and you don't know your algebra if you don't know that college algebra that you learned last semester you're going to flunk flunk with a capital F calculus, all right? So make sure you know your, because 80% of calculus is college algebra, all right? Um, so go ahead and I think three weeks from today is the 19th of September. That's what you're supposed to do in all your classes. You're supposed to take this outline, you're supposed to divide it into 14 weeks, how many units you got, and then you're supposed to put dates out here uh, I don't do that, okay? There are teachers that actually do that. I'm not doing it, all right? So print this out, put it on the outside of your notebook. It's the most important page of all the syllabi and all the handouts that I'm giving you. This is the most important page, okay? So keep it with you, keep it in your notebook. If I was to say, what are we covering today? You look at that and you say, I think you're going into 8.4. Okay, that's what you're supposed to be doing with that page, not putting it in the trash can or not leaving it in your notebook and not even looking at it. Okay, all right, so that's the most important page. We're done with that. 
the second most important page. Mm, well, office handouts. Go ahead and look at that. Office handouts. All of you as students are able to get Office 365. So make sure you take advantage of it. You have five free installations. The reason I want you to have it is so you'll have, and there's the portal right there, so make sure you write that down. The only reason I want you to make sure you get it is because you have Skype for business. I will let you Skype in if you need to. Now, why in the world would you want to do that? Well, I've had students from Spartanburg come here to take my class. I've had students from Salem, Tomasi Salem, come to take my class. I've had people from Lounsville, from Hartwell. I've had people from, uh, what's the, uh, where's the peach? Gaffney. I've had people in Gaffney come every day. And I told them, I said, look, you don't need to be going up and down the road. Just Skype in. Okay. Now I'm on the, I'm on the uh, campus of T-Rexes. Okay. We still have people that type their email and leave it in the subject line. All right. I'm the only one that knows, I think I'm the only one that does this. I'm pretty sure of it. And I've been doing it now for about two or three years. There's no use in you having to come. This is a community college. It's a technical college, okay? I teach here because I wanted to teach here. When I graduated Clemson, I said I want to go back to Tri County and teach, all right? I did not go to a research university, not hack it, and then come here and say, well, I want to try to make my class a research class. All right? I didn't do that. So I'm not going to try to make you into some kind of research university doll. All right? I'll tell you what you're going to get at a research university. I'll tell you how you're going to be treated. But I'm not going to do that deep. All right? There are times that you will be running late. There are times that you have an appointment. You don't need to ask me. You don't need to tell me. All you need to do is say, Text me and say, I need to Skype in. My name is John B. Smith. And then I will look you up and bring you in on Skype. That's okay, simple as that. The only thing I ask is that you use it sparingly. You don't use it every single time you have a stub tub. Or every single time you're running late. No, you don't do that. You do it when you run into an emergency, like a sibling or a son or a daughter or a parent or something's happened or your car broke down or something like that, okay? I will count that as a present, okay? I will count you present if you walk in the door, say, Hubert, I'm here, and then leave. I will count that as a present. There's only two times, and you be in here. That's the only three ways that I can count you as present. So do not leave me a note and say, I was here, that won't work. I have to see you, I have to count you absent on the ear, and then you can leave and do whatever you need to do. Otherwise, Skype in, you can do that, or you can just come to class and sit in class. Those are the three attendances that I will count. I don't care, but Truck County Tech, holding your hand, we have mandatory attendance that we have to take. So you get a lot of teachers, 90% of us don't really care, but we have to do the attendance every day. Don't ask all financial aid okay so make sure you download this this uh five free downloads well nothing's really free you pay for it in your tuition you just don't know it okay https colon slash slash portal dot office dot com use your tct credentials when you type in your h mcclure at tctc.edu it won't even wait on you. It will auto direct you to the portal. And then you type in hmcclure at tctc.edu and your T number, and it'll take you and download and download everything because you don't know which teacher is going to ask you to use which application. You can download it on your phone, you can download it on your laptop, on your tabletop, desktop, uh, and your two or three what call them things. Tablets. I don't use them. I don't like them. Mm -hmm. Hey, I tried them. Don't like them. I gotta have a keyboard. I guess I'm just old school. I just don't like those on, on the screen keyboards. I can't stand them. Okay. So that's that. Make sure you get that done. If you have it, if you have, great. 
Uh, Polycom, you don't need to, that's, I just accidentally sent that to y'all. YouTube and ETC. This is no joke. I sent these out and I'm teaching an online class, online college algebra. The student actually said, emailed me last night and said, I went to your I went to your YouTube and the videos that you have of Math 110 are from last semester. Yeah, you're taking an online class. I'm not going to teach videos. I'm not going to make videos for. I'm going to make videos when I teach the class and then use it for my online class. Think, people. Okay, think a little bit. I think it was your class. I'm pretty sure it was your class. Yeah, it was like a semester. Semester ago, didn't you take this class a semester ago? Or two semesters? No, college algebra. Huh? Last semester, okay. Well, the video is on YouTube the last semester. That's your class. And I'm teaching the online class, and I told them to go to YouTube and pull up the spring math 110. And I get an email. I went to spring math 110. That's two semesters ago, or the last semester. Did I reply? No. Okay, you're taking an online class. I tell you to go and click on to the spring semester for videos. I don't understand what's the, what's the question. I'm, I'm sorry. you got to use a little bit of common sense, okay? Please. All right, go to YouTube. I'll pull that up right now. I better go to Chrome because Internet Explorer is having its issues. So go to YouTube, pull up your floor. And there is blue shirt. This is office hours. Don't click on that one. It's just got individual problems. This is my classes, and I've been videotaping my classes since hit, hit the playlist, created playlist, since 2013. These are 2013 right here. Okay? Actually 2012, but we won't go that far back. So I've been video, and I used to videotape with a, little, with a webcam in the classroom. Video cam, then a webcam, and now I just do it with a board. Okay? The reason I'm telling you that is I've been doing this for a long time. The videos do help you if you use it. Kind of like a car helps you, but you got to walk outside and you got to crank it up, right? Well, videos help you. You actually got to go on YouTube and you have to take this mouse and you have to click. I know it's hard work, but you have to click on. You ever seen that commercial with the kid running the dog on the treadmill? That's what some of the students I have to deal with. Okay, I send them stuff on email, and they won't click on it and print it out. I mean, I, I, it just blows, blows my mind. Anyway, the last time I taught Math 111, I'm looking. It's last fall. There it is. So let's say you missed today, first day. Well, you can go to the Math 111 2016. Okay, wait well, a second day. I don't know what happened to the first day. Oh, there it is. Start. Oh, that's fourth day. Hmm. Oh, well, second day. And it'll show you what I went over the second day. Listen to myself, but I can't stand to listen to myself. But anyway, if you go fast forward, and this is what we'll be covering the second day. The second day we'll be covering my lab plus. And that's what I'm covering right here. So the first two days are pretty generic. And except for different problems, really, the 110, the 110 that you took in the spring is the same as my 110 that I taught to you. When I teach, I do not try to teach by the book. If I taught by the book, then I wouldn't be able to use video to semesters ago. I teach by the problem. In other words, I just use problems. I don't say, okay. Everybody turn to 3.1 in your book. I'll do that. 
I teach it the nearest way to where if I'm teaching a concept, all you have to do is find that concept in the book. And the problem is the book. I don't teach it the other way around. If I pick by this book, I go explicitly by this book. Then when the book changes, my video is no good. See what I'm saying? So I go the other way. I come in with the problems, which is their problems. Then you can match the problems, the, the title, with the book. Okay. So there's my videos. What else do you have on this this handout? How to Skype tells you to text me, and then it tells me you know Skype. I know you Skype me a couple of times. I'm looking to see you 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 had me before, and you've had me classes before. One ten was it his class? I remember your face, but I can't remember placing you in the class. Mr. Keller, who else has had me before? You've had me. So three, anybody else? So one, two, three, four. Four people have had me before in here. They will all tell you that I do everything I can to help you. Okay? I'm not nowhere, not confident that they won't tell you that. I'm very confident that they'll tell you that. Skyping, did you ever Skype in? Mr. Keller, I wasn't Skyping back then, was I? No. Okay. I was just videoing, right? Okay. You Skyped in before. Did you ever Skype in? Okay. So it's not that difficult. And reasons for Skyping in, that's, uh, you don't have to tell me anything. I don't need to know your business. Okay? I don't like to know people's business. And I feel the same way about my business. I don't want them knowing my business. So I'm not going to sit there and say, Okay, you're Skyping in. Why are you going to Skype in? I'm not going to do that. All right? Oh, you, and you don't have to volunteer the information. Okay, just tell me you're Skyping in. Text me. I'm Skyping in. My name is John Smith. Add me to the class. Now, I have to go through this because some of y'all will, like, text me an hour and a half before class. Okay? When should you text me? Right when class starts. Okay? Don't text me and I'm going to have four class because I'm going to forget. Use your brain. Registering on to My Labs Plus. Some of y'all, I know four of you, have used it before because you had me. All right? If you haven't used it before, you need to read up on it. There's a handout. There's that little section right there. I do not use Blackboard. Okay? I don't use it. You need to go to... Hold on. You need to go to www.tctc.mylabsplus.com. Now, I want everybody to write that down right now. Now, the reason I'm wanting everybody to write it down is somebody's not going to write it down. And you're going to go to mylabsplus.com, and you're going to send me an email, and you're going to say, Hubert, 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 I need a course ID. Will you get a reply from me? Nope. Why? Because you didn't follow SA directions. Did I tell you to go to my last plus? I'm asking you. Did I tell you to go to my last plus or did I tell you to go to TCTC dot my last plus? You didn't follow simple directions. So you will not get a response from me. Okay? If you ask me something that I've covered, you won't get a response from me. If you ask me something face-to-face -face that I've covered, I'll just look at you and say, I have no idea. <coughs> now, that's where I get a little bit extreme. I shouldn't have to tell you some of this stuff because it's on these handouts. Some of these handouts are questions. Right, Miss Simmons? On the test. One of them says, name, name a question. Can you all remember a question? Okay, what is my email address and my phone number? Will people get it wrong? Yep. Yes. One of them says, what branch of service was I in? People will get that wrong. you got some DAs out there, people. Big ones. And appropriate, too. 
So that's what's scary. Y'all know the type. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Yes. All right, so make sure you write that down. You're going to see it again because I'm going to pull it up again. If you go to another website, if you go to one that you just thought up, then don't email me saying that you can't get into my lab plus. Okay? You got to go to the right place. I don't use Blackboard because it don't work half the time. There's old saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If it is broke, don't use it. So I don't use Blackboard because it don't work half the time. All right, so that's that handout. All these handouts are already on your email unless you added Friday and you'll be getting it probably tomorrow. Or yeah, tomorrow. Okay, let's go to the other email. I meant the other handouts. My class. Where's my class? There it is. So if you got that, pull it out. If you are receiving this attachment, you are in my class. These are what I'm teaching. And I, I've tried to tell you what I'm teaching in several different handouts. Why? Because I feel good about myself. No, because I want you to know where I'm teaching and what I'm teaching. So therefore, you won't ask me what. Where are you going to be? I have no idea. You don't have to write this down because I've given you right here, and I've also given it to you in a location card. I'll show you that in just a minute also. Okay? Now... One thing I will tell you, if I don't have a class after my class, and I've got another class coming up if I can hear, if you want to catch me before class, just come in here before this class. Well, let me rephrase that. When I'm not in my office, I'm usually in the classroom that I just taught out of. Okay? I don't look here. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me do this. Let me go ahead and show you the locator card. It's easier to show it that way. Okay, y'all see right here, I have a class at 8 o'clock. Y'all see that? On Tuesday and Thursday. And then I have y'all at 11. So instead of going to the office right here, I'm going to be where? In here. Okay? And look, everybody knows that that works here. If they go to my office and I'm not in my office, I'll say, go to 202. He's in there. Because, I mean, I can, if there's no class in here, I would go to my office. But since there's no class in here, I just stay in here and do my work here and then wait for the next class to come up. What, why am I telling you this? Well, if you don't find me in my office, I'll be in one of two rooms. I'll be in AC 104, which is on Monday and Wednesday and Friday at nine o'clock to ten o'clock so i'll be either there after ten o'clock or i'll be in ac what 202 so there's three places you can find me my office ac 104 or ac 202 there's three places okay and most of the time 90 percent of the time my redneck cadillac's out there i'm here okay for those of you who don't know what a redneck cadillac is it's a pickup truck all right parents fall. All right, question on that. Now, oh, one more thing. Okay, I'll show you that on the information sheet. But this right here tells you when I'm in my office. So therefore, you don't ask me what? When are you in your office? I'll just look at you and go, I have no earthly idea. Okay. The Polycom class, I'll explain what that is. I'll give you a pin out on it. That's just for your own information. It's something new that we're starting. So when you see the word Polycom on your schedule or on a class, you know what it is. That's why I'm telling you about the Polycom class. <coughs> to find out more about me, you can Google me, you can YouTube me, or you can go to Rate My Professors. Now, the reason I tell you about Rate My Professor, because I sure don't want to look at my ratings. I'm scared to death to look at them. But look at your other teachers. We'll go through and make fun of some of them before class is over today. Yeah, that's always fun. 
but look them up. If they got below a three, get out. If you can, get another, get another, because I have found out, my students have told me that if they make below a three, if they're rated below a three, then it's going to be a hard semester for you. So you need to get on there and look. I bet some of you never even heard of it, have you? Huh? Okay, I don't want to hear it. Okay, good. But have you seen? I know, but I don't want to. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear about them. Uh, if you did, you look up any other teachers? Yeah, I was waiting for another class, so I was just like, um, trying to figure out if I need to get into this class, and you kind of Well, this is this is why I asked because a lot of students don't even know about this, and it's a and it's a pretty good thing. Now, always remember. If, you, if you're reading a, a review and it spells cat, K-A-T, then you don't need to take that one very seriously. Or teacher, T-E-E-C-H-E-R, then you don't need to take that very seriously. Also, if there's only one rating and they say this teacher sucks and spells sucks, S-U-K-S, then you can pretty much count that one off too. There are some on there. Wait till you see the grammar on these things. On the spelling, they're atrocious. But most people, 90% of the people that put ratings on there actually do okay. Um, you ever been watching your Facebook page and you notice some of the people, how they spell? Oh my gosh, it's embarrassing. I got a friend. I only have one. No, I'm just kidding. Um, there, I have several friends on Facebook, and it's sad. I have, I have one friend, they don't know how to use the difference between T-O and T-O-O. And then I have another friend, they don't know that no is K-N-O-W versus N-O. You know what I'm talking about? You ever seen these, these Facebook posts? It's, I might, p it's pathetic. I might have blocked somebody. I didn't do friends that blocked them for not knowing the difference between T-H-E-I-R and T-H-E-I-R. Yeah. I can't do And they appropriate it, too. <laughs> All right. If you are a hammy student, lazy student, or obnoxious punk, I don't think I have to worry about that in here. Why? Because the further up you go in mathematics and science, the less and less you see the obnoxious punks. Okay? Next semester, when you get in calculus, you're going to see less of the obnoxious punks or people like this, like you had in 110. No. Or 120. Was it 120 or one, it was 120? It was 120. Yeah. The further you go up, the less you see of that. So I'm not worried about that in here. Okay? Um, I am worried about the lazy students and the hammies. The hammies, they're those students that will leave today and go, when's the when's test you? When's the test you? When's the homework you? I haven't even covered the first mathematical problem and you're worried about homework. Okay, you need to go home and take some medicine. And people, and people get on my nerves. Okay, if you're normal, pretty much normal, we'll get along okay. If you're one of these extremes, you just need to go home and take some medicine. Skype in, leave your leave your microphone on mute, and just Skype in, and I'll mark you here, and we'll just we'll just coast along like that. Okay. Oh. Lazy students, lazy students don't make it past college algebra. So I'm not worried about that. This is just generic. This is not for y'all. It's generic, okay? In the last 20 years, I've had over 7,400 students. And I've only asked three to leave. So that comes out to 0.004%, which actually is 10 thousandths of a percent, which is zero. Okay? So I think that's pretty good. Heck, I know some teachers that have to have security like every other day in their class because they piss off the students or the teacher or the student pisses off the teacher, one of the two. Yes, sir. Well, which one was that? There was a, there was a girl up in front and she asked you, Pretty simple question. Um, yeah. What are we going to do this? How is this going to be useful for us? You gave a very eloquent answer to that. 
said that it would be something that help you solve problems. Yeah. Because no matter what you do in life, you're going to have to solve problems. Yeah. And I know what I'm talking. I know what you're talking about because I always talk about uh, the person in the, at the at the customer service desk versus you know somebody that's an engineer. They still have to solve problems. I know I know what you're talking about, but I don't want her in the class. Well, uh, let's huh. say she basically with that. I don't need to learn how to do all this to do huh. anything. My mother was a cashier. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to. I'll have to. I'll have to go back in my memory breaks. I don't remember that one. No, I can. I'll be honest with you. I can handle agreeing to disagree. I can handle an argument. Okay. The 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 part I can't handle is when you make it personal, and that's the people I throw out. I don't even. Now I guess that's why I I haven't thrown out the three people in in 20 years is because I mean, unless it's personal. I could pretty much handle it. But when it gets to be personal and you start name calling other students or name calling me, and I don't, I don't put up with And Huh? Oh my gosh, yeah. You have that, yeah. And some of these other teachers that don't have a life and they make their own battles, you know what that word means? You pick your own battles, they just make battles one right after the other. You know, put your phones in a box at the back of the room, you know, that type of stuff. I mean, they just. They don't think anyway, but no, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with that that record. Um, I like to interact. This is a problem with with some of my students, um, mainly because they're not used to a teacher wanting to interact. They're used to a teacher that wants to talk all the time, and you shut up. And I'm not I'm not that way. Okay, I'm the opposite, but I'm not an extreme. Okay, I'm. Usually I do all my talking about 50,000 things. I chase all my rabbits at the beginning of class. Now every once in a while I'll chase a rabbit. You know, I'm kind of like, you know, the you know the dog, well, I can't remember, but the dog jumps around and says, I keep my mind on anything. Squirrel! And he takes off and runs after the squirrel. All right, sometimes I do that. I'll think of something while I'm teaching, and I'll, I'll chase after that rabbit, and then I'll get back off my soapbox, and I'll get back to teaching. That's... Rare, but not rare. It's very likely. How about that? But uh, you, most of the time, huh? Most most of the time, I do it at the beginning of class. Okay. So if you're one of these people like you, but I really want to start class on time and really start, you need to drop. Okay. You need to drop and go take Dr. Gabadi or somebody that starts class at exactly the right and goes exactly 90 minutes. And does it stop until the next class is busting down the door? You need to you need to knock yourself out there. I don't believe in entitlements, grade redistribution, or everyone getting a trophy. If you work, you pass the class. If you don't, I know this is hard for some of y'all, but you fail. Okay. No, everybody don't get a trophy. So, and I got to tell you this story. This happened last semester. And, and, and Art is going to kill me when he's, he's going to stick his head in the door and says, you telling that story again? Well, it, it blows my mind. He has, in, in a certain English class, he teaches English, and he's a very good instructor. I'll give him that. He's a left-wing liberal, but other than that, he's, 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 a good, he's a good instructor and a good person. All right? He gives four unit essays, and they have to be a certain length. You know, first one, 2,000 words, second one, third one, 3,000 words, the fourth one, 5,000 words. I'm just making these up. Making these, uh, they're certain amount. And then the final, he gives three essay questions or four essay questions that have to be 1,000 words for each answer or something like that. Okay? He had a student, this not last semester, I think spring when he took my class, spring semester, wrote 100 words on the first one. 250 words on the second one. Got up to 500 on the, on the third one. Fourth one, 200. And the last one, which you have to like have 500 or 1,000 words per question, you would like two or three sentences on each one. Okay, what was his mathematical score, do you think? F, yeah. It was an F. F plus. It was... 
way down. It was F. He comes up to Art and says, I really need to make a C out of the class. Well, if you know Art, his satire makes mine look like minuscule. Okay? He just basically blew him out of the water with, with satire. Okay? He was, I think that's sarcasm. Sarcasm. His sarcasm makes my sarcasm look very small. Um, he, he's the type of person that will be sarcastic to you, and you won't even what? You won't even know it. All right? And he basically said, you know, this isn't entitled. He said, and I was like, you said that? Because he's, he's a left-wing person. And uh, I said, you said that? He said, yes. I'm like, he wanted to see when he had done, he hadn't even made a C on anything, and he wanted to see in the class. He wanted a C because he, he participated, if you want to call that participation. And that doesn't go. That doesn't go. I'm sorry. When you, when you do the work, you get graded for the work you've done, just like in the real world. If you suck at your job, you're going to get what? You're going to get fired. 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 That's what it means. It means you failed. Okay? I don't understand what the problem with that is. So pull your weight and you'll be fine. Do your work, you'll be fine. Okay, Hubert. There is my... How to get in touch with me. Write it down. Now, you don't have to write down every single one. Write down my cell number. That's the best way to contact me. Write down my email address here at Track County Tech, which is right there. Oh, that's a test question. Make sure you write it down. Now, the reason you need to have my cell number, let's say that you're trying to find me. And you can't find me. You looked in my office. You looked in 202. You looked in 104. And my truck is outside. That means I'm in a meeting somewhere. Text me. Where you at? And I'll tell you. I'm either in a meeting or I'm in the office downstairs or whatever the case may be. You need to text me to tell me that you're that you're skyping in. Text that number. Okay. Other than that, you don't need to drunk. I don't need any drunk mails. Don't need that. Uh, that's people who get drunk and call their body and their voicemails. Don't do that. Okay, that gets old. All right. Um, please don't send me stupid pictures. Please don't do that. Um, just use it professionally. I appreciate it. Um, look, I even get show you how to get to my get to my office. Why do I do that? So you won't ask the DA question, what's the question? Where's your office? Because that's what you ask me when I tell you to come by my office and we'll have to discuss it during office hours. First question y'all say is, where's your office? I have no idea. After this point, I have no idea because it's right there. Second floor, soon as you come off the elevator, turn to the left. You'll turn right into a doorway. And you know these things that are on the side of the door, they're called numbers? They do something as they go down the hall. What do they do? As you go down the hall in the hotel, what do those numbers do? They change. They increase. So I'm in 211. When you turn directly into that first room, I think it's 205. So if you follow the tradition of room numbers changing, if you follow that, the next one will be 206, 207, 208, and eventually you'll come to 211. Okay? And you've seen the locator sheet. I've got one outside my door, and I've sent you one. So now you know how to contact me, you know where to contact me, and you know when to contact me. So please, don't ask. Okay, come by and see me during office hours. When are you, when are you in your office? I have no idea. Well, where is your office? I have no idea. That's why you need these in your notebook. Okay? I already showed you the uh, locator card. The only thing left is Hubert's 
class vertices. My number one rule, I treat students what? The way I want to be treated. Now this goes on with a lot of things. Let's say Mr. Clark has a question on his homework. And he comes up here, and he's, it's one of the questions that has like four or five parts. And he comes up here and he says, I don't know how to do this. Show me how to do this, blah, 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 blah. I did part A and B. I can't get part C, blah, blah, blah. And while he's talking, I decide I want to text somebody. Well, what is that? Come on, Bob, quick, wait. What is that? Rude. I can't do that. Okay? It's rude. If it's rude for me to text while he's talking to me, then what's the difference in you texting while I'm talking? No comment. It's the same. Okay? Now, I don't go run around putting this up on the wall. Why? Because, again, this is not a research university. It is not a residential campus. I know she has kids. Who else has got kids? Anybody else? Okay. You have parents. You have, now my parents, I only got one left. Okay. And neither one of them paid attention to my locator card. I put my locator card up on the refrigerator, up on the wall. It didn't matter. In my lunch, maybe, that, maybe they, just, they just called. Okay. So sometimes my mother will call. And sometimes my daughter will call. If my daughter calls from a college in Charleston, then I know something's wrong or something she needs to tell me. If I get a call from McLeese, McLeese then I know something's, my, my son has done tried to take the, the, the police officer's gun at me. Okay. Yeah, he tried to do that in second grade. No, what he did, he just rubbed it. <laughs> he just took his finger. Did they seriously call him? Yeah, and I want, I'm glad they did because they didn't need to do that. I mean, that's it, I mean, as much like as my son trouble. knows about guns. I mean, was he like in trouble fixing to get beat out of school? No, no. Okay. Like, you know, they just wanted me to know about it. And as much, I mean, my son was shooting guns well, you know, when he was in third, fourth grade. He knows not to touch a gun. And I got on to him, and he hadn't messed up since then. But anyway, I had to go. <laughs> To McLeese, I'm sorry, McLeese, I had to go to McLeese that day, and I had to leave. Okay? Things like that happens. And I understand that with y'all, too. So I'm not going to sit here and try to be a research university wannabe and say, you have to stay in here no matter what. And I'm going to lock the door at 1110. I'm going to lock the door. Okay? I'm not one of those people. We have a few of those campus. Not this campus, but... They they want they want their their dream is to be a research university teacher. And evidently they can't hack it, so they just teach here and try to act like a research university. And I'm sorry, but this is not that type of environment. And I can't stand it when they try to make it that type of environment. When you get to Calc one, you get to Calc two, you get to physics with Calc one, physics with Calc two, you get to English literature three fifty seven. Uh, Spanish 408, and you get to some bigger classes, you're going to have the, the academic maturity. It's going to naturally evolve, okay? I don't have to beat it in you with a with a stick and make you close. I'm not going to have to do that. It's going to come, all right? I don't have to do it because it came with me. They didn't have to do it. The more they pushed me, the more I pushed back, and that was just me, okay? So if I'm like that, and I know some of y'all are like that. If I come in here and put this all over the, the room, some of y'all are just going to get it out just to piss me off. Okay? And that's the type of person I was. So <clears throat> all I ask is that you be what? Respect. What I do is when my mother calls or my daughter calls or somebody important calls, I say, excuse me, i got to take this, and I go out in the hallway and I call them or I text them. That's all I ask for you. Okay? My phone will go off. Sometimes I'll leave it on. I'm very bad about that. People know when I'm in the building because they hear my phone go off. 
okay? That, that you just have to look over it. And I'll fix it. As I don't go into cardiac infarction when yours goes off, I don't even stop teaching. I just keep it going. But some of you are going to experience teachers that are not that way. They go crazy when your phone goes off. Some of y'all seen that commercial where the, where the grandfather and the grandmother are taking up phones at the front door? Have y'all seen that commercial? Well, they, there's some teachers like that. So just be respectful. And that's not only in my class. Be respectful in other people's classes. Okay? Uh, attendance policy. I've already covered that. <coughs> I'm not... I'm very laid back, so you don't have to tell me that you're going to go on a vacation with your your dog and your cat and your cousin. You don't have to tell me that. The only thing you have to do is write me an email or send me a text like the day before or the class before and say, look, I'm going to be gone. I'm going to try to Skype in, but if I can't, I'm going to keep up using the outline and the videos on YouTube. Fine. It's no big deal. You don't have to tell me that you're going on a three-day cruise on a boat to Jamaica and you're going to turn around and come back and then go train ride to Atlanta and then come back. I don't need to know all that. All I need to know is that you're not going to be here. You're going to keep up, so therefore I don't put uh, uh, an absent and an absent, which cause, oh, that's another one. And you're going to get these emails from these bureaucrats over in the library. Okay, If you get one absent, you're going to get bombarded with emails. They're not mine, okay? They're not mine. I don't do them. I do not drop students unless financial aid, student records, your mother or father, the hospital, the doctor, or the registrar tells me to drop them. I don't drop people. That's extra work. I'm not going to do it. Because what happens when I drop somebody, what happens nine times out of ten, as soon as I get that paper, the student records, and as soon as they take you off the roll, guess what happens? You come back and say, oh, I need to be reinstated. And then I have to go through and do it all over again with a different form. I don't do it. I don't drop students. So you miss 21 days in here. That's just 21 zeros as far as I'm concerned. Okay? I don't drop anybody. So attendance, I'm very laid back. If you cross the threshold, if you Skype in, if you're here, that's three ways to count. Okay? Question. I generalize when I speak. Okay? If I step on your toes, I'm sorry, drop me. Because when I say y'all, y'all means students in general, not just y'all and here. It means students in general. I don't sit at home and say, well, I really don't like Miss Simmons, so I'm going to try to embarrass her and wish her quick class. I don't do that. Okay? There are teachers like that, but I don't do that. All right? There's this word, this phrase, it's called a sense of humor. Now, in, in the United States, we've lost that. We've lost a sense of humor. We can't, you know, when I was in high school, we joned on each other all the time on the football team. All right? I don't even know if y'all know that word anymore, okay? I don't even know how to spell John, okay? But we, we cracked jokes about each other, okay? We would, we would get personal. We would, we would say uh, we had one guy, his name was Wiley. I'm just going to say Wiley. And he had big eyes. And we all called him bug eyes. And we'd say he had big eyes and all this stuff. It was a joke. All right? Now, oh, my God. You say something about somebody's eyes, they'll have you in jail and sue you for everything. All right? A sense of humor. Okay? I kid around a lot. Get used to it. If not, leave. Drop. Skype from home. Turn off the microphone. Okay? Oh, I hate to have to do that, but I have to tell people. All right, what I like and what I don't like, you can read about that. Let's talk about supplies. The best thing, I, I don't have anything about supplies in here except that you need to have your access code. Let's go ahead and look at that right quick. When you go to the website, Ms. Simmons, class is over at 1230, right? 12 what? 12.35, yeah. I, I just want to make sure I, I was on the same wavelength. I have to look. All right, let's go to www. 
dot tctc dot mylabsplus.com. Now, if you don't see Tri-County Technical College on the top, then you have used your own website. You have not followed SA directions. Okay? So you need to back up and go back to your notebook and say, well, that's not what Hubert told me. I, I was supposed to see Tri-County Tech. You're supposed to see the emblem over here. And what happens is, this is what y'all do. Oh, he told us to go to My Labs Plus. My Labs Plus. Not telling. Oh, okay. sorry. I'll get Vanna. Vanna's going to get on that. This is going to be bad. I'm going to work the same because I can't work with the same time. WWW. Ah, uh, he said something about My Labs Plus. Yep. Yeah, there it is. My Labs Plus. Okay. Okay, I need to register. Okay. And right now, you're working yourself up a bad tree because you're going to get in all kinds of messes here. Okay? Just follow SA directions. www.tctc.mylabsplus.com Now, those of you that had my college algebra class, one, two, three. Did you have college algebra with me? You must have. I don't know if your book is still good, but I know you three, you won't have to buy an access code. You'll have to check on yours. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, if, if the book is the same, if you, if you use the same book, and this is as good with calculus too, the calculus uses one book for three courses. So when you buy the web assign for calculus, you're going to be buying for three courses, unless you just want to buy for two. They don't ask you if you want to buy for one course, two course, or three courses. They don't ask you for this because college algebra and college trig, they kind of fit together as one course. So they don't ask you here. They just say, okay, you got it for both courses. So you, you should be able to log in. You should be able to log in. You should be able to log in. You might want to check. Anybody else taking... 110 somewhere else, college algebra anywhere else. Okay, so most of y'all tested into this class. Most of y'all. Okay, y'all not gonna talk to me. Okay, anyway, hit sign in. You want to use your email, Tri-County Tech email, without the without the credentials, just H McClure, and then your T number. Number. And that should log you in. Now, if you have a changed password, you three, if you have a changed password, then you want to use that changed password. Now, if you don't, if you, at this point, they're going to ask you, do you have an access code? Access codes are purchased three ways. One, with a book. Two, in the bookstore. Three, online. Now let's talk about the book because that's where everybody gets a question on the book. You do not have to buy a book to bring the class. You can use an old book. You can borrow a book. You can share a book. Steal a book. Buy a new book. Okay? I don't care what you bring to class. You can print out this book online and bring it to class in your notebook. I'll show you how to do that Wednesday or Thursday when y'all come back. All right? Everybody gets the book when you buy an access code. Now, the access code, let's say it costs $150 with the book. I have no idea how much it costs. I'm just say $150 with the book, you can get it $130 without the book. And then you can get it online for about a $20 cheaper. So instead of paying $150 for the book for the book and access code, you can just get the access code online for about $100, which includes the ebook, which is online. So what I'm trying to tell you is you may be able to save yourself about 50 bucks. And you can print out each section up to 10 pages online. You can print it out per section and put it in your notebook, put holes in it, put it in your notebook, and just bring your notebook and the book printed out versus a notebook and a big book with all around. So some of you that have bought a book and the access code and you haven't opened it, you might want to think about taking it back if you want to save some money. 
when you get to the register part and you type in Simmons and you type in your, your code, it may ask you three things. There'll be three things that's going to ask you. One, do you have an access code? That means did you buy it with your book or did you buy it in a bookstore? You say, you click on that and then it'll ask you to type it in. Two, it's going to ask you, do you want to buy an access code? That means buy it online. You just give them a credit card or a debit card or whatever, and it won't even ask you to put it in. It'll take you directly to the registration process. Three, use the 14-day trial period. Now, the 14-day trial period is double-edged sword. It'll let you go in and let you go ahead and start working, which you don't need to do right now because we haven't started yet. So you really don't need to use it yet. But if you go past the 14-day trial period and you use that 14th day, after that 14th day at midnight, it's going to kick you into an inactive status. And then you're going to come to me and uh, you're going to go the next day, the 15th day, you're going to go buy an access code and you're not going to be able to get in. Why? Because you've been deactivated. That's the double-edged sword part. So what I'd suggest you do, if you do use the 14-day trial period, make sure you get your access code before that 14th day. And it'll ask you, do you still want to use the 14-day trial period or do you have an access code? It'll ask you that like periodically. Okay, does anybody have a question so far on that part? Yes, no, maybe. Just to get a feel, I just want to know this because some of y'all, I don't know, Adam's house cat. Uh, did you test into this class or did you take college algebra? Okay. What's your background in algebra? Did you have, did you have college algebra somewhere? Algebra 1, algebra 2, pre-cal? Just in high school. Okay. Okay. Y'all two are mine. How about you? No, I know you. I, I got you. You know his you know his middle name is Keller? And y'all are really y'all are right above each other. I know y'all think I'm crazy, but that's unbelievable. But anyway, go ahead. Okay, how long ago since you took pre cal or cal? How about you? Last year. Okay, so I need you to remember this when I'm teaching. How about you? Where where'd you take it? Just curious. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, that's pretty much. Where, what state is that in? Okay. Oh, that's a great state. I was stationed out in Alabama for a long time. How about you? Okay, how long ago was that? A year ago. So we got a year, a year, and three or four years? Okay. How about you? Okay. Okay. Two years ago. So we got two years, three years, a year, and a year. How about you? Okay. How long ago was that year? Okay. So two years. Two, 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 three, one, one, one. So we got two, two, and three, one, and one, and one. I'm getting this in my head. And Last year. Okay, so it's been about a year or six months. Okay. All right, so a year. So we got three or four with a year. So we're going to have to brush up on some algebra and some trig. We're brushing up on trig. But we have got to brush up on some algebra too because some of y'all, if y'all walk into, if y'all walk into calculus next semester, you're going to be floored with the, with the, well, uh, took, with the college algebra. You did what? I took AP physics. Okay. Yeah, that's probably why you placed in this yeah. because it bumped your score up on the math because of the free body diagrams and, and, the, and the trig yeah. and, the, um, and the algebra. So, okay, well, I always like to do that in my algebra and my calculus because I like to know who's had me before, which I know some of y'all had me and some of you haven't, but now I know that we're talking about a couple of years to year to two years as far as algebra and calculus together so that gives me an idea we're going to do some we're going to do some refreshing on the uh, on the algebra maybe a couple of days of refreshing okay 
You click on the Math 111, and this is what it looks like. Now, I'm not going to go into much of this. This is Wednesday, but this is what it looks like. Of course, tools, great book. And hey, we got two people. Who are they? Okay, Miss Simmons and Miss Weber. Where's Miss Weber? Okay, so y'all are already on, so that's good. Now, did it take you two, three days to get on? No, I did it last night. Oh my gosh, like in a minute? Oh my gosh, 10 minutes? That's all? How long did it take you? I just did Oh my gosh, a minute? Some of y'all, it's going to take three, four days. Bet me. Anybody want to bet me? Some of y'all, it's going to take a week. All right, so good. We've got two winners in the class Miss Simmons and Miss Weber. The rest of y'all suck. All right, let's go over to. Let's go to the fun part right now. I love doing this. All right, how many of you have used this so far this week, this 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 semester? Okay. So good. Some of y'all haven't used it, have you? Oh, it's funny. Especially if you get one that really sucks. Some of these students are they're brutal. I'm telling you. I, I like to look at the bad ones because I think they're funny. Let's see. I don't look at my own because I'm scared there might be a bad one in there. They're pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> don't look at the campus campus, but it's just very bad. Uh oh. Oh, sure, not all of them. They're all the ones I've Okay. All right, somebody give me a name of a teacher. Catherine Sears. Oh my gosh. Have you seen hers? <laughs> Now, oh gosh, oh gosh, hers is hilarious. Uh, let me pull up. Uh, where's all professors' students? Spracy. There she is. Let me read some of these. She's got a 2.1 out of 5. Anybody under a 3, get out. she got a 2.1. Oh, she does. Why did you go into that big spiel? <laughs> tries her best. You know, when you say tries her best, there's usually a but after that. I would never recommend this to her to you. <laughs> she was one of my favorite professors. She probably wrote that one. <laughs> Won't respond to emails and promises to send emails with things to help out with the exam, but she won't send them until seven minutes before the exam. He sent an email for his first day of class at two o'clock in the morning. He did it Like, you sent it Wednesday, you sent it Monday. Hmm. She jumps all over the place. I've never been so confused. <laughs> <laughs> the teacher is extremely hard to follow. She may be extremely boring, but if she knows you are a good student and hardworking, she will help you. Okay. Very disorganized and confusing at times. Great person, but <laughs> difficult class. All right, give me another one. Somebody that you got this semester. Uh, Who? Oh, he's pretty good because I used to. He used to work in my department when I was in charge of the comprehensive studies department. That was Herzog. Herzog. He's he's cranky. He's like, but he uses that crankiness. It's, it's he's not serious. In other words, I'll never forget. He came into class one day and he had a bottle of orange juice. This is when I was the department head. And he had a bottle of orange juice, and he said, "Thanks to y'all, this is my supper." And he and he grunt. and somebody complained about it. Said said he came in and said that he didn't have any supper because of us. People need to get up. His lecture can be funny, but he's to the point. Yep, he's very very abrupt. Uh, chemistry is hard, but Herzog makes it clear. Yep. And let's look at his score. He's got a 4.4. 4. 
Anything over a three, three or over, you're probably okay. How about another one? One more. I'm sorry, what? Deluge. D? I've heard that name. There it is. He sucks. I don't know what he teaches, but... He is unorganized. You will not understand what he wants from you. Are you taking him this semester? He is not clear when he teaches. Why is it always the English teachers? Yeah, you can switch. Drop ad. That's what drop ad is for. It's for you to get out of, of and for time conflicts. That's what it's for. Man, don't sound like he's a good influence. 2.2. That's pretty scary. Okay. Let's go to my handy dandy. See if anybody else came in besides Mr. Keller. That's not a good sign. Oh shoot! I just—I know I just didn't do that. Oh, I gotta go through it again. Aracho, they wasn't here. Barnes, Becerra, Clark is here. Crittenden's here. Fisher, Fuller, uh, Hammett's here. Keller's here. Levin. Mitchell, yeah. Simmons is here. Stores, yeah. Sullivan, Weber. Yeah. Okay, who has questions for me just on the little bit that we went over today? Okay, then what do you need to be doing? You need to be getting the access code. You need to be getting your supplies together. You need, you need a uh, TI 83 or better. Scientific calculator is good. Notebook, straight edge, graph paper. Um, all that kind of stuff, okay? Anything you bring to a math class. Get your access code, get that taken care of. Uh, if you can't get your access code, at least get registered and started with the 14-day trial period. But you don't have to do that until next week because we're not going to start any math until Tuesday of next week. So you might as well just, just hang out and get your, get your stuff squared away, get your supplies squared away. Decide whether you want to book or just get the access code or buy it online. Decide that. Get your other classes squared away. And then come Wednesday, Thursday, I'll go over my lab plus, how to use it. And then by then, you'll have every, the weekend to get all your stuff squared away and your access code. And then Monday we'll be ready. Tuesday we'll be ready to work. Okay? Adios. See y'all. Ain't that hard, is it? And I'll be posting.